Yo, I, that had to be, not gonna lie, the best two people I've ever met in Apex Legends. Like, these two dudes. Bro, I'm pretty sure in another life, we all three would have been best friends. I'm the quiet kid, the guy that just chills with him, you know, speaks sometimes, laughs, jokes. But like, yo, it felt like, it, it literally felt like I looked into a mirror, bro. Like, bro, that dude, crowd? It's like my lost twin, like, like my lost twin brother, bro, in delay. Bro, he, like a close friend. Like, hey, bruh, this, 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 that was the squad. That was a couple of the best dudes I've ever met in my life. Like, your boy has been up all day. Man, it's over the 24 hour, well, almost only, almost, almost over the 24 hour mark. A couple more hours, and I'll be over that mark. I, I, I was gonna get off for tonight, but I was like, you know what? I put so much dedication into so many other games. Apex, I just hop on, do my daily challenges, hop off. I don't even play rank like that. Like rank, like back in, like only split two in season four was when I really pushed to get platinum. I was like, I'm not even worried about getting platinum this season. I already did it last. That's an old thing, but bruh. That dude, like, the motivation he gave me to push the, to push, like, bro, at that point, I just turned into a monster. Because usually I'm like, I'm like, all right, hop in the game of Apex, here's going to be the usual. You know, usually, I feel like I'm cursed with getting bad teammates and having, like, a bad game all the time. So I'm like, you know what? But I'm always upbeat about it. So, like, I'm probably going to be like, dang, bro, it's like seven guys shooting at me. Uh. I mean, it was all my fault. I was really missing my shots, and I, I just get on myself about it. I put all the blame on myself. It's really my fault that I lost the game. If I wasn't doing this, that, this, and actually thought this, maybe had a little more strategy, we would have won probably. But, bruh, that man light. The motivation he gave me just said, anybody that runs up on me, I don't care what your stats looking like. I don't care what you got at home. Bro, I don't care what you playing on. You run into me, I can kill you. No matter what, bro. It's a W. Your head will be gone. Your limbs will be gone. Your torso, deleted. Your whole body will evaporate, my good friend. You run into me, I'm going to show you maybe the best of the worst time in the world. <laughs> I feel like a monster out there. Only, only like a And when I really feel like a monster, I'm quiet. Usually sitting on my bed. Like, bro, I wouldn't even, my whole body would go numb. I wouldn't even care about any outside force. You can come into the room and say, hey, 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 snake. Hey, hey, bro. Bro, we got pizza. You would yell at me. I'm like, I'll just sit there and then out of nowhere. Hey, there's a noise beside you. Deal with that, huh? What you want? Like, man. Yo. Those, those dudes, they may have not, now you may think, oh, they may have not been the best teammates. I mean, Light Crowd was, he was pretty good. You know, I, I can see their ups and downs, you know, really when it comes to, what's his name, Delay. He's not, oh, I can see that he's not really a person, under, a, a person that can take the pressure technically. I mean, it's not like he was pressured or yelling or anything like that. I mean, like, whenever a homie had to clutch up, he was usually dead. <laughs> But when it came to finishing the kill, like, he would run in there. Bro, these dudes, I, I don't know, man. Me, I'm usually a sneaky person. So I like my teammates going in there first, and I'll just come in and erase everybody like a ninja. Bro, I'll just walk up in there and erase them. Or if I'm feeling courageous, I'm going to run up to your face, maybe from a little distance, tear your boy up, tear your other boy up, and then kill your, kill your brother back there. Bro. That Mirage, Caustic, and Wraith? I didn't even, I didn't even believe in my, my uh, sniping skills. But when homie said, hey, whoever can pick that up and snipe, take it. And I thought to myself, you know what? My, I mean, I got the aim, okay? I feel like I was blessed with a certain amount of aim. I can hit my shots, but they're not all going to be guaranteed. 
I just got more chance of hitting my shots. It's about all I was gifted with, and everything else in gaming is just trash. Strategy, no, all that. I just wing it at the at some points. But when I get in, when I get into my bag, you know, get into my element, I'm just like, you know what? I'm snatching the Negro's head today. I'm taking someone's body off, bro. I'm taking this craver and I'm snatching whatever shield and health you had. I'm like, all right, I'm missing, I'm missing. But don't give up yet. Usually I'm like, I'm missing. Let me switch to the flat line, empty, let, let loose of every last bullet I got in that flat line, and then throw it away. And just try to no scope or something with a craver. Man, I aimed down that sight. I was like, man, forget praying. We gonna hope. We gonna have hope in yourself. Believe in yourself. C click. Crunch the caustic. That's one. Looked up at the roof. Pick your head again, good buddy. It's already over. Click the trigger. C -c Crunch. That's another one down. Let's rush in. My homie said, yo, they dropping like flies. Good job, snake. Uh, he was sniping them. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you just realized I was taking heads? Yo, man. You, he got, I got me up in there on roll call. Mm. Caustic, absent. Hold up. I ain't looking around the room. Barrage, absent. Ray, she about to be. <laughs> like, like, bro. God dang. I, I was snatching them up out the hallways. I'm like, oh, hold up. They not in the room. Boy, everybody else looked at me. They said, hold up now. What he doing? They about to come through that door in a minute. First, Caustic. He ran through the door. Boom. Tardy. You already know what this is. Go to the office. Watch. Next, Mirage. I'm going to peek this head in just to make sure I wasn't watching. Oh, I already know you're here. Gone. Tardy. Go to the office. Ray. Well, I had to sneak up on her. She thought the bathroom was safe. She's doing up in that lady? <laughs> on her own trip. You already know. Get up to the office before I call homie down here to come get you. And walk the way. Good buddy, then the old was up. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You already heard it. Now, the, the clutch at the end, eh? Mostly because in the 1v3 or 1v2 situation, I'm good. I'm strong and also not very strong. When it comes to thinking about my well being, my well being is like out of the question. The enemy well being is into the question. If they're good, I'm not. So if I see shield, either I rip that shield apart or I take my L because... And then, no, I also take in consideration what weapons they have, even though it wouldn't really matter. But when I saw that Devo, I thought it was a Havoc until he ran up on me and clicked, hit that poom poom. I know the sound of a devotion between a Havoc. You usually hear that ch, -ch, -ch. But with the Havoc... Bro, it's like, it's kind of futuristic, like, boom, 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 boom. It's almost like you got a spitfire, but instead it sounds like it's energy at the same time. Yo. But, bro, that was just the last couple of matches. Like, the first one. Do we even win the first game? Bro, I think the first game we caught a W, and I got nine kills. The first game was, first game was, mwah, mwah, pesto, delicious, mwah, excelente, bro. I'm telling you, those dudes, bro. especially light crowd. Cause usually me, I think back in middle school, like your boy was like a real, real heavy motivator. You couldn't do something, don't say it around me. Man, I can't deal with this person. I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna literally walk out and just be like, what's wrong? I'm always the type of person like talk about your problems, you know, like to see what's wrong. Now you may be like, I mean, dude's young, he can't relate. Look, I may not be able to relate, but I can put put myself in your shoes. I'm the type of person to think that way. I mean, I can think of a whole life story of a man right now, right here. Like, but it's only when I'm like this. Like, when I'm, uh, let's see, out of my comfort zone. Because usually you get, you get comfortable, right? And you're just like, yeah, yeah, this, that, joking with somebody, right? But you were close with them. You know, usually my friends, I'm pretty sure they, they about, they about know every little detail about me, bro. Just because of the fact that I would, I would literally come out, cause I'm like, I'm a very shameless person. I feel like I shouldn't have to hide anything sometimes. 
That's the only one like if our friends like it comes out in the family, you're just like, man, you you say one thing and family speaks, bro. Now, I mean, other people can talk, but I don't think it'll ever like I mean if it does come down to me, I won't know the person that's talking to me. Like, hey, remember that time you uh you, you kicked the dog? I never kicked the dog. I was scared of dogs. I never kicked them, but I was I was terrified of a dog. I used to be used to be when I was little. And then my cousin got a dog and I uh you know, grew up with that little thing and I was like, you know, I like that dog. Even though even though it's only been like a couple of years, maybe actually Actually yes, it's it's been a couple of years. I you know, I really did grow up with the dog technically. Only like my best friend, really, you know, man's best friend. <laughs> But I really, well, I like the cats, though. I mean, because cats, they, maybe because when I was little, I was like, man, cats don't feel so aggro. They, they won't they won't hop on me, bark at me when I run, even though they're trying to play. I didn't understand that. I was like, I see a dog, fight or, fight or flight, and I would not fight. Because all I see is burying teeth. And if homie gets a bite, it's game over for everything, bro. I don't know what he going to bite, but I'd rather let the dog bite my gosh darn leg than my dang arm. Because if he get me on the ground, I can throw good punches at his face while he's trying to take a chew of my arm. But if he get my arm, I'm just got the sling, homie, really. But then, I mean, there's some clean veins on here. Homie, get deep. It's game over. I don't know, bro. I don't want to die of blood loss. I can take the leg. But this hand, these hands, you got to catch them. <laughs> See? See what I mean? I can get off track so fast. But, like, the dude, light crowd... Literally, it was like me in middle school, bro. Just motivation. He had hope in us. He believed in us. Even when we lost, he didn't give up. He didn't throw with his controller or nothing. Homie didn't say, man, F it. Like, usually people I get with a mic, they're like two best friends having a conversation about their day yesterday or a memory or something. And then we win a game. Now, I'm not saying that in a sarcastic way. I'm just saying that is the usual good people. No, no. Yeah, we can do this, this, that. They're, they, these are streamer type homies. The ones that once we get into a battle, and we they be looking for a battle, I'll tell you that. Once they get into a battle, instantly. Uh, All right. We got a Ray. She's north, 146. I'm uh, flanking left. Down one. All right, Black Snake got one too. Finish it off. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, guys. But anyways, like I was saying, like that's how that's how it goes. I'm just like, that's that's a pretty good game right there to me. Get to play with people. Tend, to, I wouldn't say I'm like them, but when, like when it comes to me being a strategy person, I gotta get well with the team, right? Cause like most of my mistakes I make is when I think on my own. Like I usually would think I'm playing solos. But I will play better if I if I if I'm a solo person, I play extremely better under pressure. So if you put a lot of pressure on me, you're gonna get the most out of me. <laughs> like you're squeezing every last drop out of that orange, good buddy. And I'll show you. I'll show you how, how well of an orange I am. So like if I get pressured, then I just Alright, this, 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 like a whole bunch of videos just pop up in my face of what to do. Or what the enemy is going to do. If an enemy takes this one step over here they've already fell into line that is a whole scenario right there as a whole path they just took that i now know where they're going to go and i can take them out but like and it, it gets harder when it comes down to how many people i'm fighting so if it's one dude i might die to this dude remind you that he may go down that path but there's more paths connected to that path sub paths so sub paths so if he goes down this one that surely enough might lead to my death i then think Okay, but every path can lead to my death, but then I'm thinking, I need a path where I can get the jump on them. But depending on what I do, my mess is all up. And everything is going in slow motion, bro. I'm like, I'm on this one path, but this path to him leads to him killing me. But then I got to take the weapon into consideration, the legend he's playing, and the area around me. But I can do all that under pressure. That's, that's the thing. So the more people is, the better it is with my strategy. Man, I was talking about light crowd motivating me. <laughs> Back to the topic. Anyways, let's snuff out that. 
but yeah, I feel like dude was like me in high school. Cause I rem- I remember uh, what's her name? Michaela. It's one girl. See, I me, um, good buddy here, me myself and I, has a uh, ADHD, right? So your homie's very hyperactive. But then, like, there's a whole bunch of other problems if you look it up. But those don't matter because the thing about it, I feel like it, it makes me who I am. It makes me happy, technically. Because whenever I'm feeling down or going like, oh, man, that was... A day can never be bad with me because I'm just going to go look at the bright side. <laughs> Instantly. It's just something I'll bring go, hey, what you doing? Well, I mean, uh, this happened, this happened. Why don't you look at the bright side? You know what? You're right. This didn't happen. This didn't happen. I'm happy. <laughs> it's funny. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always a humorous person. Even even in times of uh, you're not supposed to be funny yet. Which is probably my downfall. I, I'm funny in, in uh, moments I'm not supposed to be funny. <laughs> but yeah, see, seeing your, your boy, you know, like the time. Like I, she, she, uh, she said, you know. Cause what I was doing, I was a weird kid. I was one of those weird kids back in middle school, like seventh grade. But I wasn't the weird kid that you know usually people would bully on. I was just the weird kid everybody knew and was technically cool with. So I was all right. I was down with it, bro. My half friends, I knew everybody. Y'all was down with it. <laughs> you know, see, bro, I was like a oh, not not a class clown, the class sleeper. You you caught me snoozing in the rooms. <laughs> They pull up, Tom will draw a paper on my desk, see what I can do. I'll pass the paper, the paper say a hundred. And I'll just look at them and take a, take a nap. They be like, hold up, what homie be doing? He be listening to something, studying when we get home. And I'm just like, this material is light work. You gotta hit me with something harder. <laughs> that now that was that was something, cause like I don't think I have a terrible subject. Nah, it's just it's the subjects where you actually have to listen. The subjects that you gotta sit, listen. And then you, you don't doze off. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, it's, it's, there's the subjects you gotta listen. You gotta be like, okay, mm-hmm. You saying this? This? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, pass me the sheet. I got this. See, I already memorized what he said. What he said? Uh. Shoot, I said I remembered. What happened? T- just pass me a paper. I see the questions. I'll remember. Huh? Oh, I gotta write I gotta write the response. It's, no, the question ain't the question ain't talking about. It's no it's not multi choice? Oh. Easy. <laughs> yeah, that was usually me. That was usually me. That, that's like I think history. His history's gonna hit me hard. Cause you fall asleep in history, you gotta remember dates, it's, man, everything. You gotta remember names, whatever boy they throw at you, you gotta remember it piece by piece, word by word, if, letter by letter. If you didn't remember any of that, man, number by number, bro. If you didn't remember any of that, you got one You got one off, you forgot that date. What was it? J- July what? Uh, 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 a- a- 1862. Uh, well, what was the date? Oh, Lord. Yep. You just put July 1862. Uh, John... Dingle uh, murdered a whole clan to save his wife and child from poverty. <laughs> it's like, oh, so you got it all right. You just forgot that day. So, uh-uh, question wrong. Huh? Man, nah, that's what you regret falling asleep. But at the same time, no, nah, I had to go to summer school. <laughs> it's the first time for everything though it's the first time for everything i was kind of looking forward to summer school but what got up <laughs> it's not this, this is funny what got me up oh i went from literally talking about those dudes being the best squad to me telling my life story see i'm comfortable right now i'm out of my i'm out of my zone usually i'll probably usually i'm probably like the weirdest because when i get on camera I, i'll just lose my cool bro i'm just like uh Oh, gosh darn it. Well, I don't want to, you know, uh, get out of my comfort zone. I feel like people wouldn't like that in the video. Um, um, but then, no, I, I, no, you got to be yourself. You got to be yourself. Well, I'm starting to sound like this through a crowd. <laughs> yes, this, this is all me. 
Now, what did I tell the girl? <laughs> Yo, wait, I went from talking about failing classes, summer school, motivation, whatever. I'm, I'm getting off anyways, but I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to let the world know this. Wait, no, what? <laughs> what did I tell the female? I told the, okay, I had, my mom gave me this button up shirt. Mm -hmm. I remember, I had an undershirt. I think it was a sweatshirt. I, did I have my lucky sweatpants on today? Don't ask why. Well, actually, I'm gonna say it anyways. I don't know, bro. I was wearing those sweatpants and I felt, man, I felt out of my zone. No, those, those are, no, you know how you usually sit at your house, right? You're throwing your sweatpants and you chill out, right? When I brought that Jamil, when I brought that snake, that guy to school, bruh, I got the pants on. I'm like, yo. And I feel like I'm at home. I'm over here tripping with the homies, being myself. Cause usually when I come to school, I'm like, I'm real quiet. Right? I go I go from like when I'm usually by myself or with friends or people I know, I'm extrovert homie. Like you gotta get me into the mood. You no, know, we crack a couple of jokes, I'm laughing, I'm coming up with stuff, and instantly I put a smile on my face and I go off. Really? Like <laughs> You will rarely see me mad. You will rarely see me mad. The thing is, I don't make sense. But then the thing is, I'm a hypocrite. Right? Big one. Big one. But not really much of that of a hypocrite. Just the only thing that I would say a part of me that I strongly despise would be nonsense. I don't like things that don't make sense. But half the time, I don't make sense. So I technically would hate myself since I would do the thing I despise. But no, I'm a hypocrite. So I hate, I don't, I hate things that don't make sense. But I don't make sense myself because I feel like not making sense is hilarious. But it, de it depends on what sense it is. Now, I'm a person that rarely gets serious. But when I do get serious, I'm not cracking a joke. Now, you got to make me laugh, all right? If, if you want to crack a joke... You better be my humor funny, okay? That's how much of a hypocrite I am. You gotta be my humor funny. So I'm gonna look at you and go, so what? what's up? Now, I'm not much of a fighter. I'm a very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pacifist. You know, I'm not the homie that feels like, I mean, throwing hand. look, violence is hilarious to me. But it com when it comes down to me having to do the violence, I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna hurt nobody. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't make anybody mad. I do like to get on people's nerves, but I like to play. I'm too playful. But I'm not the type of person to like push you to the edge and then drop you off the edge and go, ha ha, hilarious. That's why I get a punch in the face. And at that point, I just think I deserve that. He, he, you smacked me for a reason. I, I did push you over the edge. Now, if I push you to the edge, you tell me to stop. I'm like, ah, uh, all right. You got me. Okay, okay. You're, you're, not, you're not catching on to the joke, so I'll leave you alone. They may message you tomorrow or something. But, again, oh my gosh, I got sidetracked again. I'm just, I'm just talking to you. No, no, technically I'll talk to myself. Someone will hear this, I'm sure of it. Now, someone probably won't watch it, or maybe they'll watch it in the future once I become someone of some irrelevance. But, I can say irrelevance? Wow. That's irrelevant. Relevance, not irrelevant. Relevance to me, I'm not really a, I'm irrelevant. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm not there. I don't exist. Now I become someone of interest to people who are of same humor and all. Yes. But I mean, and then uploading. There's days you don't feel like doing anything. You're just like, oh, why am I talking about uploading? Why am I talking about things that I shouldn't be talking about? Well, I want to talk about how a light crowd was me in middle school. Let's get back on topic, then I can get off topic. Come on, get, get your head in the game. See, my head wasn't in the game. Oh my gosh, now I'm about, to start talk, I'm about to start talking about how my head wasn't in the game when I was playing with those guys. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, <laughs> so, after the first match that we won, like I said, when I play, a game and I get serious I get quiet I disconcern myself with everything in the room I'm probably not using that word right 
but yeah, I just concern myself with everything around me. I'm in my room, finally. I have my room now. I have a better TV so I can see on it. Not no gosh darn, what is it? One of those, those boxes, bro. I ain't got no box. Is what they call the flat screen. But I'm grateful to have this thing. But if I ain't had this, I wouldn't even be in this room right now. Man, I'll be gone somewhere. But yeah, be, I'm in my room. So um, I can't be as well as I can be. But since mother is usually not here, I can technically get hype. Okay? I'm a pretty loud person. <laughs> loud no matter what. Yeah, but anyway. I'm gonna sit here in this bed. On this bed. I get quiet. Nothing in this room matters because there's nothing in this room. So it makes it better. I can focus, drop a thing, then come back to my senses and go, yo, I just killed those people. Like the whole, it's like I'm watching a screen of myself like, <laughs> I'm just sitting in my bed, just watching myself like, whoa, just killed all those people. And then I come back to my senses like, oh, I'm the one holding the controller. Hey, they died. <laughs> but I can't do that all the time. I can't do that all the time. And there's times where I can, you know, erase someone's life with aim, but still be myself. <laughs> and there's the one that brags a lot. Yeah, like, y'all you know, just destroyed that man's armor. He doesn't even exist anymore. Finish him. <laughs> Dead. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No crowd. What I, yeah, I said I had a button-up shirt, right? T-shirt, too. Got my sweatpants on, man. They was perfect, technically. It had to have been. Technically, I would say the best school day ever. Because, like, talking with my friends, like, day was going by fast. Went to PE, everything. And PE was usually my last period, which was seven since I was in seventh grade. Since, you know, North Gulfport, you know, you know seven grades can have seven period PE. It's just beautiful. And put up there on my sweatpants, but no shirt, bro. I was so out of it. I was so out of my comf comfort zone that really when it comes to being a person of status, right? You know, your public status, you know, you want society to see what you are. Society would have looked at me and said, this dude is a degenerate. Get him out of here. Like, bro. <laughs> I, I took I took my button up shirt, threw it on my uh neck, bro, tie that thing up like a cape. I was out there running, bro. I think we were playing uh what was it called? Bro, uh, we was playing I think kickball, bro. You best to believe. And when it comes to me being out of my comfort zone, I am a massive extrovert. You wouldn't even have to talk much, right? You would think to yourself, bro. Now, who this dude with his button up next to me? I would look at you and probably say something. Like, what up? What's your, how your day going? Whatever, bro. Like, man, I don't even have to spit game. Look, the thing was, man, like, I was about to say, I'm not really inter interested in females. But, like, <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm gay. But, no, 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 no. I F with the females. I just don't always hit on a female. You know, I'm not the type of dude that walk up on a female and I'm instantly already trying to get in her pants or something. No, I usually, I'm a, man, I'm friends with a lot of girls. Friends. Exactly, you know. Homie ain't trying to push past nothing more since I'm looking for the right one. I'm the homie that I'm looking for the right one. The right one, right one. The one I know about, I wouldn't say the same as me, but the one I can appreciate, you know. I mean, I don't, that's not saying I don't appreciate my friends. I mean, yeah, they my friends. And I love homies, bro. If it wasn't for them, man, I don't even know where I'd be. But anyways, like I said, I was massive extra, bro. I just started running away. I started running around. I'm motivating the homies. I'm hollering at people. I'm like, yeah, bro, get the game. Come on. Dang it, bro. You got caught. But it's all right. Next turn. Bro, homie asked me, like, what, what are you wearing all that for? I'm like, you know what? I was like, bro, Michaela, you got this. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, bro, you got this. Like, what's wrong with you, man? I like to motivate people. I'm a big motivator. That's all I would really say when anybody asks me what's your problem. I'm like, bro, I'm a big motivator. 
I like to see I like to see people get there. You know, I like to see people rise to the top. I don't care, bro. You can you can leave me in the water as long as you are living. I got you. I got your back till the end. You come to me for anything, bro. I got your back, good buddy. <laughs> you need me to rob a bank, man. Let me think about it. Give me two seconds. Yes, pass me whatever you need. You got all the stuff ready? I'm coming with you. It don't matter. <laughs> you want to get a dog? You scared? It don't matter. Bring me with you, bro. We going fishing? 100% I'm ready. Man, you see me pull out the gear on you. Like, <laughs> no matter what, what's going on, bro. Bro, you, you, you about to go beat up somebody? 100%. You need, you need me? I got your back? Yeah, I, I, I'm already there, bro. They jumping you? Oh, call me up. They bigger than you. They, they bigger than me? They, they bodybuilders? They big men? They, they can... They can Throw two punches and I'm asleep. It don't matter. I'm coming with you. Knock me out if you want. I'm going to stand right back up and get the swinging again, man. It don't matter. This my homie and I got him. Bro, you my homie? I got you. Whatever you need, maybe I got you. Now, if I got it, I might got you. You know? What you, what you need? A dollar? Man, I look at the money. Let me see. I got enough. That, that's enough. A dollar won't hurt me. Won't put a cut in my budget. 100%. You got a dollar now. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, that's the thing about when it comes to the female friends I have. Bro, homie asked for money. You got a dollar? Like, homie asked you got a dollar. I'm like, I got you, bro. You, you say right now, I'm be like, I ain't got my wallet on me properly. Like, I 100% I probably won't have my wallet on me the day you ask me if I, if I got money. Now, if I do, you getting a dollar. If I got the dollar. Now, I, my home, mostly I got big bills. So, if I ain't got the dollar that day, do you got it? You kind of split it. Do you get your dollar? I get my 19. If they can't do that, then, oh, look, sorry. I ain't got, I ain't got a dollar in change. Sorry. But if I do... I got you. Like I said, bro, I, I got you. No matter what, bro, call me Gibraltar. I got your back, brother. <laughs> One clap on your back and you good to go. Back into the fight. <laughs> I'm done. Man, like I said, I'm a big motivator. Now, see, usually, and then, like I said, usually, I ain't know them, right? Like, uh, I ain't know, uh, he <laughs> called us a cloud at one time. Crowd. <laughs> Cause, and then, plus, he couldn't even talk. And I usually have to stutter, too. Like, I can't even say the word. <laughs> I'm mutilate. See, I can't say that word. Humiliation. I can't say that word, bro. I can't say it. I, can't, I don't know why, but, like, after I made a mistake and said something about, like, humiliate or something like that, I always say humiliation. Humiliated. Freak. Bro, see, I can't even say it. Humiliation. Humi hu I always say humiliation. 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 Humiliated. Humiliated. What the? F yeah. See, that man couldn't even talk. I can't even talk. He said, "Man, it's like my tongue, not even my mouth." Huh? Like <laughs> that was something I would say. That's a phrase. That I'm like, what? Respect the chip or get the dip. But, um, but like, I'm like, huh? What? It don't make any sense, exactly. Huh, I'm all, he's all over the place. All right now, I'm off topic. What was I talking about? Like, what was I talking about earlier? I'm like, so we gonna get done with the thing I was talking about, I said to the girl. <laughs> what was I talking before I went into a whole detailed thing? Yeah, I get, you know what, I can just stop here. This is probably gonna be like an hour long. And I'm probably gonna, no, nah, wait, I'm not dropping this one first. I'm gonna drop the first bit, which your boy, good buddy Light Crowd, was giving me the motivation to become the monster I was. Because usually when it comes to, I don't get motivation most of the time. It's just me, kill a lot of people, don't get a good game. I like usually, I get like nine kills now, really. Like my most high kill game would be like nine kills. 
think it says highest kills in this season. 10? 10. Hey, that's another W on the list. Thank you. Yeah, 12 back in season. No. No, my highest was um 14. I've never gotten to 20s or nothing. I wish. Highest was 13. Now, my highest kills would have been 17, thinking up on, you know, thinking ahead, right? But that was, like, back in Season 2. I took, like, I when Devotion was a gun before a freaking Season 4 hit. Had my Devotion, bro. Ran in there. I was playing Mirage. Tell me why. I'm Now, like I said, there's the games where I'm focused, and there's the games where I'm focused, and I'm myself. Where I can talk, say, oh, we don't just drop the whole squad. Yes. I was playing with it. Bloodhound, duos were even out, bro. It was just us. It was supposed to be a trio duo left. I ran in there with that devotion, bro. When it came, when it came down to me, my hip fire accuracy is pretty nice. Okay, I then, like I said, I'm blessed with aim. It's just I ain't gonna guarantee every shot. I'm gonna guarantee most of my shots. Most. There's there's individual shots sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, all right, I get in the mood. I get the aim. I read you. Yeah, I got you. Bang them. I remember I took my friend's head off almost, cause uh, you know, when it comes to me playing games with people, I like I like to I like to turn into a monster so I can scare you a little bit. Hey, what you doing over there? You chilling? Are you making a run for it? Pull the trigger, you lost half your soul. Now you gotta figure out how to beat a monster like me, cause what you got is some dude who can snatch your head off of your peak, or a dude if he get up close, his aim is gonna be impeccable. You can't fight him. But you, you can kill me, it's pretty easy. Just have a better weapon. Or if you or a weapon that hits high damage. But I don't think I'll I don't want panic on your stress, because then I I would look at my health. Not even look at my health. I would disregard the health and look at you. You are my main priority. If I don't take you out, I'm not gonna be okay. <laughs> so wait, what was I talking about? Bro. I can't even backtrack because then every sentence everywhere I say gets deleted. Unless I'm talking about it right now. Uh-huh. And they're playing World of War II. Uh, doing zombie East Rings and stuff. But what was I talking about? Now that he came in here, I'm, I'm off the track. I think I might end it here. Uh, now that I'm trying to remember, he doesn't want to pop up. That's real funny. Ha, ha, ha. That, that, that's, that's actually hilarious. Oh, yeah, some of the 17 kill thing where I would have had 17 kills. I had a left hand on my team. He was killing folks. I was finishing off squads, which makes me mad because if I look at my badges for Mirage, and this was back in season two. If I go to badges, let's, uh, let's come on down here. Why would you do that? Let's just pull this down here. Boop. Look at this. three members of three squads in the same way. I did not do that. Now that I think about it, I did not because, wait, you telling me I didn't kill him? Wait, tell me I did hit it. What? Yo, yo, at least with Bangle, right? Come on, bro. I need that badge on the folks that I really kill folks with. How? Yo, why do I, I keep just finishing off the last two people or something? Killing duels is the easiest thing I can do, and I love it. There's no one else, because these are one, two, and three. Even though, really, I think, how many, how many kills are that over there? No, I'm, not, I'm not the best in the game. 417? Yo. I'm pretty sure y'all in the 500s, right? Three, three? You, you somewhere, right? Ah, ah, wait. And I swear, when I play Mirage, people die. So why the heck does he have more kills? It doesn't make any sense. And these, these homies, these are the homies I don't play. You can't ever see me maining one person. You see me now. Really, as per se, mains is lifeline. Now you gonna say, yo, you know, if you got a main, usually your main has the highest amount of kills, best stats. No, my main is the person I like. I like lifeline, but I don't touch her. And by main, when I say I like the person, that would mean the character that I like, and if I play them, I'm gonna play good. And if I don't, 
I'm gonna dis be disappointed in myself for not playing good. I, I think I only put like blame on my teammates if he like when it matches in. I'm like, bro, man, do freaking he he should have clutched up or something. <sighs> nah, I shouldn't be mad. It's really all my fault. Cause like if I didn't kill that one guy, we would have been all right. See, it's always me, man. If it's not my fault, then who fault is it? It's my fault. <laughs> Ah, I love myself, but bro, those dudes. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, delay didn't even say anything, but I really felt like delay was a massive point in here. Cause like, if he didn't pick up his mic and said a word, I, I don't think uh, I don't think uh, we'd be playing together, bro. If like. It really what kept the team together was delay, bro. If delay didn't say a word, I don't even think your boy, like, crowd would have been as motivational as he was. And when it comes to playing with people who ask mics, and I'm all quiet just playing Apex, like, what comes to my head is like, hey, you're, you're playing with somebody, right? Yeah, they, they got a mic. That means they're so much out of their comfort zone to speak to a couple of random guys. And I just think to myself, you know what? You was absolutely right. I'm gonna win for him. Just because the person is talking, I'm like, you know what? That motivates me to fight. And maybe because a little part of me is like, hey, I want them to say my name at the end. And like, yo, they do a monster or something. A god, at least. Hold up, actually. Hit the homie class over here. Yeah, he should make it mine. And I was going to get off for the night. But I was like, you know what? Uh, let me sit. Oh, just going to hop on Apex. And now I was like, I mean, not hop on Apex. <clears throat> let my Destiny 2 download, lay back, play a game on my phone, and then doze off once it's downloaded. Turn on some YouTube and black out. Man. Then a part of me was like, you know what? You play Destiny. You play, not Destiny. You play uh, Dauntless a lot today. I was like, yeah. You know, trying to get good at that game and technically finish it, get it done with since it was pretty easy. I was like, you know what? The game's going to keep evolving. never going to get done with it. You put a lot of work into it. I'm like, yeah. I mean, there's nothing else to do. He's like, why not Warframe? I'm like, Warframe. I don't really have a goal in that. I was like, you know what? I do got a goal. I need to get better. Need to get better stuff and all that, you know? Need to get up there. Really was all focused on was my standing and all that, you know? And I was like, you know what? The, uh, the quills. I remember, like, once I got a once I got a chance to fight the Eidolons, which I'm pretty sure most people who, who listens to this probably wouldn't want to talk about. When I got a chance to fight the Eidolons, I fought. And when I fought, usually I was with good people. One time I fought myself, and I was like, let me give this a try. I failed immensely. Vomulus killed me. I couldn't find any. I don't know. All my Eidolon lures got destroyed. And I was like, I need better things. I need better weapons to do better damage. And I need a better amp to take a shield to like nothing. Then, I'm pretty sure like yesterday, a good friend of mine. Uh, you see me unknown. Homie was talking about uh yeah the bug destroyer i'm like bug destroyer what are they talking about i'm not here i'm talking about when you got an uh, amp and all that i'm like an amp i said i was trying to make one of those but i couldn't find no status wisp and i was like you know what he's got one oh i always make a, every little thing a competition but i'm not very competitive so if you win i'm just like hey gg you won now i might be mad afterwards like oh man See you, this, that, this. No, just, what? Yeah. I just, Shaw came in here and said that. What? Go to YouTube. YouTube for what? I'll tell you when I go. What? What? Yeah, anyways, friend. Yeah. I should end this. No, no. Stop talking.
Just stop talking. I gotta go to sleep. You only been up all day. It's probably like 10 or maybe 9. Give me that. Yeah, I was right. It was nine, it's 9 on 1 a.m. I woke up yesterday at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I tried to go to sleep early yesterday, actually. Actually, I think I'm gonna sleep around like 1 a.m. Woke up 1 in the afternoon yesterday. And now I'm sitting here today because, you know, usually me and my bro, the homie, the unknown. I don't know. For some reason, talking to him, it's not bad. It keeps me up, okay? It's more interesting than being at school. But we always think, man, school isn't nothing. And then you think back in your life and you're just like, man, I need to be in school. But yeah, see you guys later. Black snake out. I need to stop this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with?